What's going on you guys? Thanks for coming back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you a little something that I've been holding on to for about a week now. Um, I recently reached out to NWI and wanted to ask a few questions about how this game Insurgency Sandstorm gets developed and um, some other related questions. Um, I didn't really expect to get an answer back either quickly or at all, um, being that nobody knows who the hell I am. Um, but to my surprise, uh, I received an email the next day um, from Astrid, who is their communications manager, and she was kind enough to answer every question that I asked, actually, and I thought that was just amazing. So what I'd like to do is kind of run through the questions I asked and, and, and her response to it. And, you know, I think there was a lot to be learned here about um, not only how the game gets made, but maybe why some things might take a little longer than others um, based on the game, like the size of the development team. And I know a lot of you already knew the team was small, but uh, I think maybe we didn't quite know how small it was. And, and, and this gives us a, a little bit more insight, I think, into just the inner workings of that. So let's take a look. So the first thing I wanted to know is how big is the team working on this game, really? Um, not just the people that are working on fixing bugs, but I mean, everything. Uh, so she said, that, so that one's hard for me to answer, although I can say it's a double-digit number, smaller than what most people would assume. We have five people on our communications team, someone who looks after the product, a community manager, two player support people, and me. So let's break that down real quick. So she's saying it's a double-digit number that is probably smaller than what most people would assume. You know, my personal thoughts were something around, you know, maybe 30 or 40 people at most. So, you know, if it's smaller than that, we're looking maybe 20 or so. And this, again, this is all just complete guesswork here. But a double-digit number um, that's smaller than people would assume. And then she's saying her team, you know, which is going to be based on the PR and, and marketing and um you know, community relations side of things is only five people. I mean, you got that, that's that's a very small small group um, to handle. You know, potentially problems that are not small at all. So, um, if the let's say the actual team, the game development team, is only fifteen to twenty people, um, I think it's easier to understand now. Um, why when certain problems come up, but particularly now a lot of this stuff is, is all to do with the console. Um, having played console and then now playing PC with this game, I mean, the, the PC version of this game, as far as I can tell, runs almost perfectly. And I'm sure it had its issues, you know, when it came out three years ago or four years ago. Um, but, uh, it, you know, this is all based on a port from from a PC game trying to move it onto really onto past gen consoles and then make a backwards compatible version of that game for next gen. And you've got 15 people all working on it, maybe 20, um, maybe less, maybe it's only 10. I mean, we, I don't know for sure, obviously, but um, I can see how some of these problems are bigger issues than what they would be if there were 40, 50, 60, 70 people working on it. Um, so, you know, just something to keep in mind as we go forward. All right, let's move on. So this next question kind of unintentionally helps to better explain the first one, but um, I asked, are there dedicated teams for each version of Insurgency, both for PC and, and uh, console? She says, nope, we've got one team working together on all versions of Insurgency Sandstorm. Um, so, you know, if you take both of those answers, kind of put them together, you can sort of deduce that while, yeah, we've got one team that works on both versions, um, you know, certain people are going to get certain jobs with for you know whether it be for pc or, or for the console version so effectively um there are there's just no way that there aren't times that the this small team gets broken up a little bit into a console or into pc here or there or maybe they, and, and if they don't then they're they're dealing with double workload and you know a smaller amount of people are dealing with two different versions of a game they've got to worry they've got to worry about uh, correcting things for or, or creating bug fixes things like that so um, just another reason to keep in mind just how small of a team this is working on two different versions of, of this game that have two completely different sets of problems when they do have problems um, I think that's important to know all right moving on all right, this next one gets a little wordy, so just bear with me for a moment. Uh, it is inevitable that during a game's life cycle, certain parts of its uh, player community can become toxic towards team members through social media and other platforms with no intent on having real questions or concerns answered. How do you approach responses to these kinds of negative interactions? I work closely with the team, mainly player support agents, to collect feedback and craft responses. Often these are players who simply want to be heard, and we work hard to show our players that we're listening. 
Now that team she's talking about working with to craft responses with and, and listen to players is is going to be mainly that team of five people that she was talking about earlier um, in uh, the very first question that we went over. Um, so keep that in mind when you know when you're either reading somebody's asinine response or you're thinking about making one. Um, there might just be five people that have to go through all of these requests um, for this particular game. Is that, an, is that an excuse for, for stuff, major things not to work? No, it isn't. But um, obviously nobody intends to release a game with problems uh, and ones that are major to game players, th things like that. So um, between understanding just how small the team this really is working on this game, plus knowing that um, they continually try to fix things, and they do. Uh, most of the time they get things fixed that they promise they're going to fix. While it, sometimes it takes a little longer than a lot of people want, um, it, it happens. Uh, but I think you have to be cognizant of the fact that you know there may only be somewhere between 15 to 25 people working on this game at any one time. And that isn't a lot of people. We did have more questions um, originally written down and answered, but you know I didn't want to make this video 12 minutes long either. Um, but I, I, I got the ones that I think were fundamental for us to understand just kind of the undertaking that this game probably is to to do and it just and, you know any game is a huge undertaking to make of course but um, if you're doing it with this many people and potentially this small of a studio um, there's a lot more going on than, and than I think some people might realize so uh, to keep that in mind as we keep playing this game thanks for stopping by hope you're having a great week and we'll see you later